Hey everyone, today I got a review of a solar panel, and if you saw my other review of a solar panel, I mentioned I was thinking rich solar might be a better option. Well, decided to put my money where my mouth is, and I went and bought four of these to balance out one of my other arrays so I can get the maximum amount out of my charge controller. And here they are. This is the rich solar RS-M100. It is a monocrystalline panel produces 100 watts it's not super big really light well wow. not not super super light but light enough to easily haul around let me show you the back here okay the leads aren't super long but they're decent i like that they've got a positive and minus here labeled on the cables the connectors are actually good uh, i don't see anything really wrong with them now, one thing I really like over this panel compared to the other panel I reviewed is you can get in here just by pushing a couple things. No breakage. It's nice when you can look at things and not have them break on you. I really appreciate that. Now, this, it's got is where they've got the bypass diodes in here just fine, which is nice to see. Now, what it is, the only thing I don't like is they have these screwed in here, and so the wire comes in is screwed into here and the stuff now they didn't really do the best job on this i'm going to unscrew these straighten up the wire and put it back together probably with a little bit of anti-oxidation compound to make certain that the connection lasts and works really well but other than that that's about all i need to change also the wires are tinned it's tinned wire which is really good means it won't corrode very quickly should provide nice long lasting service i was happy about that now, the solder joints here, yeah, they're, uh, they're really thick, thick piles of solder, but I, I looked at them pretty carefully and checked them out with my meter, and they actually are low resistance connections. So they've actually got the, the connection of the diodes and the panel parts into the joint, and the solder seems to be just sort of holding it there. It's not actually making the electrical connection itself. So that's all right, but I do wish it was a little nicer. That's how it is. And then the panel here snaps right in like it should. Now they came shipped together in pairs. And they had it where the front was facing each other. And there was a piece of you know, styrofoam on the back side to protect them. So the, literally the glass was to the glass. Honestly, not really happy with that sort of shipping. I would have liked to have seen something in between. But they did arrive intact without any problem. And they traveled from several states across to reach me. So I guess that's saying decent it is tempered glass i was happy about that the glass is actually okay i wish it was a tiny bit thicker but it's not bad at all um, standard good design i think it's an aluminum frame the frame actually arrived without any major deformities or anything else and was good and i checked them up with a charge controller and they made spec out here just fine no problem at all so, and, and actually two of them were a little above spec. So I'd say that's a win. Now these are made out in Vietnam and such. And that's kind of surprising. I figured it'd be from China, but it wasn't. So good job, Rich Solar. I like these. I like these pretty darn well, actually. Now they were actually a really good deal when I bought them. It was $189 for two of them. So that's 200 watts for $189. So less than a dollar a watt. That's a pretty good price really is, especially if you're not buying them, you know, by the pallet. Because that's where you can get a really good deal is if you buy a whole pallet of panels. You can get, you know, sometimes as low as 60 cents, 50 cents a watt. Although those deals are few and far between now. Getting 200 watts for a little under $200 is a good deal. And if you compare that to the Harbor Freight panels they're offering, I consider it a much better deal. Get a lot more panel for the dollar, and it's a better made panel, and you get more wattage. So I think if you were gonna pick between you know, Harbor Freight solar panels and these ones, I would highly recommend getting these. Plus, with their standard connectors, you can hook them up into the solar combiners, the charge controllers, everything without any problem at all. Now this thing has your standard electrical label, listing everything out, all the markings associated with it. The only thing it doesn't have is a UL marking. Now in a lot of jurisdictions, they're not really too worried about that because there's so little that goes wrong with solar panels. Although, like I say, you never know if you're going to get some Nazi for an electrical inspector and they're going to demand that. 
So if you're actually planning to put these all in your house and everything else, do check with your local jurisdiction or zoning area if you're dealing with one of those to see what your code enforcement's like and if they demand that every panel you put on has a UL marking on it. Where I'm at, they don't really care. So I've had fine luck just using whatever I want, which works out great for me. But check around. I hope this was a little helpful to you. I'll post the link to where, you can, where I got these off of Amazon in the description. Hopefully they're still available at their great price. And I hope you find this information a little useful. Take care, everyone. This is Reed, out for now. The only thing it doesn't have is a UL marking on it. Oh, geez, wind, give me a break.